girl it's a photo shoot when i hit the mall it's a photo shoot <laughs> oh my god that song is so catchy <laughs> It's Brit Latrice and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about how to take better photos. I know I feel like this is something that I get asked about a lot more so specific to posing but we will get into posing in this video. Ultimately we want to be captured in our essence you know and I know that's very important to people especially when you think about your image, your look, your likeness, um, for some of you guys, your personal brand, that's important for how you definitely show up and come through. So I do want to provide a few tips as someone who's been creating content for quite a long time, just for myself and as my full time job. All right, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first tip is be prepared. And what I mean by that is understand how you want your photo to look and feel. You know, some people really want avant-garde, very high fashion. Some people, you know, we're going for street style. Some people it's for like maybe like a LinkedIn, so that office vibe. Have an idea of what you want. Because a lot of times what I do hear is that people are so dissatisfied, but a lot of people cannot articulate exactly what they want. And if you can't articulate that to someone else, then how are they supposed to capture it? The photographer sometimes gets blamed and it's like, yo, did you articulate what you wanted? And that's a very honest question to ask yourself because it's taking accountability that, you know, I may be the reason that this photo didn't quite turn out the way that I want it. That's not always the case, but a lot of times just that extra preparedness really helps. So what you can do is make a Pinterest mood board and share it with your photographer or meet with them, you know, whether it's 15 to 30 minutes before your shoot and talk about it. Hey, this is what I'm going for. Do you have some locations in mind? Give examples, show them what you are looking for. You will be so happy later on with the photo than just doing all this like guesswork and like taking a shot in the dark. Those are all the reasons you should be prepared. Um, within that too, I know I feel like this one's an extra long tip, but within that, make sure you try on what you plan to wear ahead of time and take a photo of yourself in it and ask yourself, do I like how I look in this? Clearly, it's not going to look as glossy maybe as the photographer's photos, but at least you'll know. Some prints are just really busy in photos. I always have known like houndstooth. I hound stuff. I, you know what? I'm tr having trouble pronouncing that. But that really classic, beautiful print on film, it can look like it's moving sometimes. And you're like, yo, that's a little bit much. Wasn't going for that. So make sure you just like take a look. Does it make you look the way that you want? And if not, that's when you can make your adjustments because you do not want to get to the day of your shoot, take a photo and be like, you know what? I ain't feeling this because oh, you're going to be a day late and a dollar short. I'm just saying. Second tip is do what comes naturally to you. Do you touch your face a lot and like get really comfortable in that? Maybe you cross your hands a little bit or there's a certain specific way that you stand that makes you feel really confident. Make sure that you're doing that and bringing that out in photo. Whatever it is that you find yourself doing, kind of do your best to capture that. So the next tip is make shapes with your body. You guys will thank me for this. This is like the biggest thing make shapes with your body so a lot of times like you'll see my arm is up like this because i am making a triangle it just really comes through well in photos it just looks really great they give you the dimensions that you need to look really awesome in photos because photos are like flat <laughs> in so many ways and it'll kind of help make you look angular not flat it definitely gives you a lot of life and it gives the photo a lot of character in all the best ways when you make shapes with your body so do that. That is an absolute must. Practice in the mirror. The mirror is your friend. Take a look at your mood board you created, some images that you really like from people who inspire you or, you know, like kind of create like a little aspiration mood board and really go for some of that. Whether it's like intense stares, sometimes people just want to look really like calm, cool, collected, saucy, you know, all those things. Just make sure 
that you do that. It personally, I can say it took me a long time to get to the place of not smiling and laughing in photos. That's a very natural thing for me to smile, to laugh, but I also wanted it to look really natural with me just like kind of like serving like some face, you know, and um, I got there, but I won't lie. It took a long time and I would just like look sometimes at other photos of whether they were creators or just like celebs and I'm like, how do they do that? But honestly, give yourself grace. They've been doing it for a long time if they've been around for a while. Also, it's just one of those things that you practice and you get comfortable in it. And your mirror is a great place to practice and get comfortable. Don't act like when you were a kid in high school, you wouldn't be in front of the mirror doing your favorite dance so you could go to the party and do the dance at the party and look all cool. This is the same thing, except it's for a photo. I'm just saying. I'm gonna just come with it and be honest and just say, that is what it is. Think of it like that and you got it. <laughs> so the final tip, have a blast. Enjoy yourself. Get some music going, you know, like talk to your photographer or like have a friend that's not distracting and won't stop you from getting the job done, but be comfortable, have a great time. It's, it's such a fun thing to do and it can become fun, except when it's really hot. Don't take it too seriously. You will get something. Even if you don't like it that day, you may come back to it. I do this all the time and be like, you know what? I did that. I did that that day. If you need some music to get your mood right, play that. Gash yourself up, tell yourself nice things and keep it light, keep it breezy, keep the vibes really positive. It's meant to be a good time. It's meant to represent you. And that's all you needed to do. My best photos are with photographers that I have such a good time with. I get to like let loose, enjoy myself. They gas me up, I gas them up. We're like having just so much fun. Keep your spirit high, your energy high. And I promise all those things will reflect in your photo. They really will. Actually, one bonus tip. If people stare at you, let them stare. People just stare. I don't know what it is. It's definitely been well over 100 years since cameras have been created. But when people see them and they see the subject, they're like, what, what, what is going on over there? And a lot of times um, some people have expressed to me that that kind of gets them off their game. But if the energy is a little bit strange because of that for you, kill it with kindness. Hey, how you doing? Good afternoon, good morning. Sometimes that makes people mind their own business because you're acknowledging them not minding their business or they're just gonna like root for you. I've had a lot of that happen to me as well. So yeah. So I hope this is helpful to you guys. Whether you have an engagement, graduation, special event, you wanna take new LinkedIn photos, your blog, whatever it is. I think this is applicable to all of those things. And yeah, best wishes on your next photo shoot. I know you're gonna nail it and like serve. Hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it and found it helpful, definitely make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye.